American taxpayers are now, quote, slaves to interest payments on the federal debt. So writes my colleague E.J. Antoni over at the Heritage website, as interest on the federal debt is now consuming 40% of all personal income taxes. So look at your tax bill, and almost half of that is going to service old debt. And of course, that's not even including new debt, which is projected at $2 trillion this year. That comes in to another 80% of personal income taxes. So yes, 120% of your income tax bill is going to debt one way or the other. The trillions for the military, climate, welfare, open borders, and drag shows for libraries are all on top of that. How do you spell sovereign debt crisis? EJ notes that debt is soaring at a, quote, breakneck pace up over $500 billion in the month of October, which for giggles is an annual pace of $6 trillion per year. For perspective, that would be almost one-third of all bank accounts, yes, including grandma, in America. In fact, last month alone, debt interest was $89 billion all on its own. For perspective, that's more than we spend on education, energy, transportation, homeland security, and veterans combined. $89 billion is larger than every other category of federal spending outside Health and Human Services, HHS, and Social Security. In fact, debt service costs were over three quarters what we already spend on Social Security, which roughly 300 Americans view as a sacred trust given that they actually paid for it. Treasury is currently projecting a trillion in debt service on the year. Of course, they have consistently increased that forecast over and over, so really, who knows at this point. On top of the debt service, of course, the federal deficit, which is new debt, is rising the fastest on record each jump putting us deeper in the hole as we are borrowing trillions just to service old trillions. And they lecture us about household budgets. As dire as the debt situation is, keep in mind it is set to soar automagically even if we miraculously stop the deficits today. And that is because almost our entire $33 trillion in national debt was borrowed at old lower interest rates. To illustrate, two years ago, it cost the government 1.8% to borrow money for 30 years. Today, that is now 4.5%, so about three times more expensive to service debt. It's even worse for short-term bonds. Two years ago, three-month treasuries were at 0.05%, meaning it cost them that much to borrow money. Today, it is 5.28%, which is precisely 105 times more expensive. Given that roughly $8 trillion in old debt is rolling over this year alone, it will have to be replaced at those new high rates. Put it all together, and between borrowing to service old debt, issuing fresh trillions of debt, and the soaring interest rates on all of it, we are climbing a very tall ladder with a pogo stick on top of a hot air balloon. Do not look down. So what's next? Brought to you by Unchained. Given the Fed's hands are tied by inflation, the only way out of a debt crisis is to slash government spending, which is, of course, the very last thing the Uniparty will do. Instead, they will drive us straight off the cliff, this time without a parachute. Okay, we'll be watching. See you next time.